Hi guys, if you are feeling like chicken tonight, I have a gorgeous Vietnamese caramelized chicken thigh dinner served up with beautiful crunchy veg salad. The beauty of this dish is how it comes together. You make a really rich and dark caramel. You toss in lots of aromatics like ginger, garlic and chili and to that some fish sauce for that balance of saltiness and sweetness. That gets roasted in the oven and then we serve it up alongside a gorgeous crunchy fresh salad that is to die for. The whole thing comes together quite easily. There's one or two ingredients to assemble, but the beauty of this is just how flavorful this dinner lands on the table. So to start it off, we're gonna make that caramel. So into a pan, a few tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit of water. Now, the trick with this caramel is not to get in there stirring with a wooden spoon. Instead, just swirl the pan slightly until that sugar has completely dissolved, and that will ensure you get a really nice caramel. Now, while that's bubbling away over a sort of medium to low heat, we're gonna get in there with our aromatics. So I've got some chili, some ginger, and some garlic. We're just gonna give them a nice fine chop and then get it into the caramel to really infuse it with great aromatic flavor. I always feel like the start of a really good meal starts with garlic, ginger, and chili. It's that perfect blend of aromatics. And if you can imagine this infused into that sweet, sticky caramel, you have the basis of something gorgeous to bathe these chicken thighs in. So now that the caramel is pretty much cooked, I've got my aromatics finely sliced. Let's get it in there with a little bit of fish sauce, and then it's time for our chicken thighs. Look at that, just the minute you get those aromatics in there, the smell around the kitchen is phenomenal. So now that it's at this point, we're gonna get in there with more flavor for some fish sauce, that salty element, some apple cider vinegar, that acidity, and then some more water to create a really glossy caramel. Then it's time for our chicken thighs. I've got bone in, skin on chicken thighs. We're gonna get them in there, get them glossy in it, and then it's straight into the oven to cook for about 40 minutes. So let's get cracking. Now, while the chicken is doing the business in the oven, let's crack on with a very simple dressing that's gonna coat our crunchy, crispy salad to serve alongside. Now, this dressing is key to that sort of Southeast Asian approach to flavors, which is all about sweet, salty, and spicy. And we're gonna get that by making a dressing with some lime juice, some brown sugar, and a little bit of fish sauce. Now, key when you're making a dressing is that you taste it. So, a little dip. Ooh, that has just all the right things happening. It's got the acidity of the lime, the sweetness of the sugar, and then that really sharp, salty kick from the fish sauce. This is exactly where it needs to be. So now, at this point, we're gonna slice up our veggies. For that, I have some Savoy cabbage. You can use any cabbage you like here. You're just gonna finely shred it with a knife. Some spring onions, some bean sprouts, some chili, which I'm gonna finely slice, some coriander, and then some roasted peanuts. I'm gonna get them all into that dressing and tossed until we have a really gorgeous and vibrant crisp salad.
Now, the true moment of brilliance is when this chicken dish comes out of the oven. And as you can see, you are left with these sticky, caramelized, sweet chicken thighs that have gone really crispy and golden in the oven. And as they've been cooking out, I've just been basting them with that beautiful caramel juiciness. Now, this is ready to go straight to the table. And typically, when I serve this dish up, I like to bring it straight to the table, allow people to dig in themselves. But to finish it off, and the last finishing touches before it arrives at the table, is some more spring onions just finely sliced which I'm just going to scatter over the top and then for a little bit of aromatics some coriander that it just needs to be picked over the top it's quite raw and rustic when it comes out of the oven but adding that little bit of spring onion and coriander just makes it look even more appealing so now let's serve it up I'm going to put some chicken on the plate alongside our salad and then let's dive in and try some Just look at that, really vibrant salad and then that glorious glossy chicken. Let's dive in and try some. It's amazing, as you cut through that chicken, it's still really sticky and it's got that lovely crispiness as it's had the time in the oven. And alongside that lovely crunchy salad, this is gonna be a good mouthful. Mm. Mm -hmm. That just instantly brings me back to any of my trips to Hanoi in Vietnam. It's just that sweet, heady flavor of like the caramel and fish sauce, and then that roast peanut flavor running through the salad. Simple, but really easy recipe that just comes to the table as a true showstopper of a chicken dish. If you want the full recipe, as always, I'll leave it in the box below and you'll get the link over to my website. Make sure you leave a comment letting me know if you're gonna try this delicious dish. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more delicious recipes just like this one. Until then, I am off to tuck into the rest of us because it tastes fantastic. Cheers. Mm.